In this video, we're going to implement an air combo attack system with a ground slam feature using Unity and Bolt Visual Scripting. Let's begin. We play a game. For this build, you're going to need three new macros as well as the combo macro that we used in a previous video. You're going to need to build the air attack macro, which looks like this. You're going to need to build the air attack check macro, which looks like this. And you're going to need to build the air attack loop macro, which looks like this. Go ahead and build these and let's proceed when you're ready. You're also going to need to give your player a new variable called air attack. This is a boolean and go ahead and set it to false. You're also going to need to set up four new animations starting with the air attack one that looks like this, the air attack two that looks like this, the air attack three loop that looks like this, and the air attack three end that looks like this. Once you get that set, you're going to need to add a new parameter to your animator called air attack. Um, this is going to be a bool. Uh, once you get that set, you should now see your four new animations sitting in your base layer. Um, just grab those and drop those into your substate machine combat mode. And uh, once you get in here, just right click, create a new substate machine. You can name it right up here. Um, you're going to name that one air attack name it air attack and then drop the four animations into air attack um, and then I would recommend setting it up something like this you have your any state going to attack one air attack one air attack two and air attack three loop uh, anytime you run in any state into an object I would highly recommend uh, turning the can transition to self off you don't want it to sit there and to transition back to itself uh, also, the air attack one, the loop time is turned off, same for air attack two, and air attack three is actually a loop uh, because it's just two frames that go over and over and over and over again until he hits the ground. Uh, then you're going to transition from your air attack three loop to your air attack three end. Uh, I would recommend setting it up like this. The following are the transitions that you're going to need, so just go ahead and pause your screen and, and take these one at a time. Make sure you get them all set. Notice that Air Attack uh, 1, 2, and 3 um, all have an exit time of 1. We want to make sure, since they are triggers, that they're going to trigger all the way through before they try to move off those animations. So go ahead and set those up. And uh, Air Attack 1, 2, and 3 uh, are pretty much identical, with the exception of the fact that Air Attack 3 uh, doesn't have uh, doesn't go to fall or to jump because the only way it can transition out of that is if it hits the ground So air attack 3 loop is going to go to air attack 3 end an exit time of 1 and it is grounded So let's go into the bolt side of things going into combat mode Which you should have set up if you've been following the tutorial You should have something that looks like this that we had a ground attack whenever we click our mouse that it goes into a combo system with ground attack we're going to basically set up the exact same thing for our air attack combo. Um, so we just need the combo system that's running in right here. And then you're gonna need to set up the following variables. Uh, just air attack, what it's doing basically is, is that when we go into attack one, it's setting the air attack to true so that we can trigger those animations correctly and that we can fire the right attacks. Um, at the other side of this, we're gonna go to air attack. Uh, then you're going to turn off air attack uh, the variable after these are done. Now the reason why you're not doing this a third time is because we are actually setting that in the attack loop. So go ahead and drop those right there and then we'll get into the macros in just a minute. The last thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to drop your air attack check right here. Um, but it added one more sequence to your fixed update and then put it right here and that is going to let us transition those correctly. Okay, let me just very briefly try to explain how this combo attack works and how it is different from the uh, ground attack. Um, whenever we attack, if you remember we set up in the last video, it checks whether we can attack, and if we can, it's going to do a grounded check. The reason we have that is because we want to make the differentiation between our ground attack and our air attack. So if it is not grounded, it goes into our combo system. If you remember this from a previous video, you know the way that the combo system works is that if we don't click our mouse fast enough within this, a one second delay, which we have set on our player variable, uh, that um, we are going to reset that back to one. Now, it, it works the same way in the air. So when we go into attack one, attack two, and attack three, what it's doing is it's setting the air attack 
uh, variable on our player to true so that we can trigger the right animations and we have an air attack check uh, I'll show you in just a second that basically this is for then in air attack 1 and 2 it basically is the same thing and after it's done it goes into setting that uh, variable back off and the reason why it's not there the third time again is because it is inside the air attack loop which we'll look at in a second so going into our air attack um, it is setting that can attack variable to false so that we can't just click our mouse as fast as we can but there is a little bit of delay right here this attack sequence is pretty much exactly the same as a regular melee attack that we've made in previous videos um, uh, the difference here is that it is giving us a little bit of delay in the air that not only are we setting the gravity scale uh, very temporarily to zero that we are stopping all velocity on the player and we are adding three back into the force on the Y axis. So uh, it's gonna give it that little jump that, that we can trigger the animation in the air and then it sets um, our can attack boolean back to true after three seconds, so or 0.3 seconds. Uh, the air attack one and two are exactly the same. Uh, the difference between air attack three is just, um, I mean, it's just a little bit different. It's pretty much the same. Uh, what we want is whenever we attack, we don't want the attack to happen until it hits the ground. And so what we're doing here is we are one more time checking the can attack variable. And yes, you do need this in this one, or the, the animation is not going to trigger correctly. Um, and then uh, it is going to set our can attack variable to false. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to set our gravity scale to three. So he's going to travel to the ground three times faster than he normally would. It just kind of gives it that neat, uh, quick quick slam effect that you kind of really get that force and once that is uh, you know already established we're going to run an update so just depending on wherever you are in the air uh, what this is doing is it's checking whenever our air attack is true and our grounded is true uh, whenever we hit the ground basically in our air attack 3 then what it's going to do is set our gravity scale back to 1 uh, and it's going to set our air attack uh, variable to false and then uh, the attack sequence is just a little bit different here um, it looks pretty much the same with uh, two major exceptions. First of all, the overlap circle is set to 2.5, and it's not on our game, our, our sword object right out here. It's going to be set on the player. Notice the position is on itself. Just give you an idea of what that looks like going to our attack point variable. We are going to set this to 2.5. So anything caught in this radius. Uh, on, uh, on, our, on our player, so centered on our player, not on the weapon or the direction that he's facing. Um, it is going to attack everything in that uh, circle, and it's going to return damage to that object um, in that circle. Any, any enemies caught in that layer mask in a 2.5 um, radius, 2.5 circle radius there, it's going to send them into damage mode. And then it's going to reset our can attack back to true outside of that loop. The last thing that we had set up is we had just a basic uh, uh, air attack check uh, in a fixed update. It's always running. We're checking to see if the air attack bool or um, the variable is set to true. And when it is, we set our animator to true. If it's not, we set it to false. Okay, you should now have a player controller with a combo system on the ground and in the air with a ground slam at the end. In the next video, we're going to begin building the health system for the player so there's a danger of getting hurt and dying. Thanks for joining me. My name is Megahertz, and I'm out. Peace.